Thanks. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Good name. Jibba. Hey, Jibba. What's your name? Peter. Nice, nice to meet you, Peter. Hi, by the way, am I allowed to... Sir! Not, obs not obsessively. Okay, only in French. Oh, wait. There's actually something about when you go to a furry con. I'm 39 and this is about my 15th furry con. I'm Axiom the Fox if you know me on tapestries. Um, you make a decision when you get infected. You make a decision when you go to this convention. Are you going to act old, mature, sophisticated? Or are you going to act young and cut loose and totally have fun? Um, I don't know. About the third time I turned 39, I decided that I was going to go the sophisticated route. So I'm not wearing tails, I'm not wearing ears. I just thought I'd look through the convention, but it works on you. It regresses you. It takes your age back whether you like it or not. And it starts right at the beginning when you're waiting on line for your con badge. Because you're standing there, and you're standing on a line, but hey. Then it just starts. You roll back. Now you're a teenager and you're just totally like, I don't care. And then you're about eight years old. You start going. <laughs> it's a good thing by that time you're probably at the head of the line because after that you're going to start crying for a bottle. It just gets into and under your skin. It's a good thing though because uh, staying young is part of the fun. Anyone here ever used to watch Whose Line Is It Anyway? There's a group called... Yeah? Hey, oh, hello! In case you don't know, tomorrow night, Furry Whose Line Is It Anyway, with me, two, Kage, and Dex, in the room right across the hall. Oh, you're Look at your pocket schedule, we will be in there. It only seats 350, so get in there as soon as two shows done. Well, Jim, I, I didn't know you were that Jim. Okay. Well, you'll appreciate this. Uh, there's another group of improvers called Comedy Sports. It's in about 26 cities, maybe you've seen it. And if you remember on Whose Line Is Anyway, there was the guy who played the piano, and whenever the audience called out and said, okay, uh, name a genre, name a style of music, and then they'd have to improvise to it. At Comedy Sports, that was my job. And for about five or six years, I did the Richard Branch role, the piano role. And there's nothing quite like uh, being said, okay, name a favorite TV show, Star Trek. Name a style of music, gospel. Okay, we're gonna have the gospel Star Trek. Peter, play us an entire gospel Star Trek operatic score. Hallelujah. But it was at Condi Sports I discovered that uh, there's something a little wrong with my brain. I actually have a kind of narcolepsy. It's called catalepsy. If I cough too hard or laugh too hard, I fall asleep. Instantly. I'm not making this up. And the first time it happened, I'm sitting in the back. And, uh, we're in danger right now, by the way. If I fall down, go to sleep here, don't call the ambulance, I'm fine. So imagine working in a comedy club when you don't even know you have this. It, it's, it could be worse, I could be riding, driving a steam trooper or something, but... He's gone. Here, take a little help. The first time it happened to me, I didn't know what, exactly what was going on, except that someone on stage said something so unbelievably funny. Lemons, a little synesthesia pops in there, I don't know why. And this is what they told me afterwards. I had apparently slumped forward onto the electric keyboard, which was still set on gospel. <laughs> and my head had hit this horrible chord. And, of course, it's coming over the speakers. It's an organ, guys. It's got no decay. It just stays that loud. And they're like, huh, very funny. Yeah, it's very funny, Dad. So, no, okay, you see, you're throwing off the rhythm of the show. It's not funny if you just pretend to be asleep. He's really out. 
So, as soon as we realize that, you know, a couple days later, I go to the doctor, he tells me about this bizarre, funniest mental illness you could possibly have. And it became a game. <laughs> Who can make Peter pass out? <laughs> they actually made it a bet, and whoever got me to pass out got five dollars from me. So don't be too fooled if, when you're looking around this convention, you see someone who's trying to be as straight-laced as possible and is wearing some pants that are tan and there isn't it. They're, they're going to be a furry. They're a furry on the inside, even if they're walking through the art show going, excellent brush work. I admire the clarity of mind on that piece. They can try, but they're still kids inside. Thanks. <laughs> it's bad, but I mean, I actually, I started a music company, and we put people's music on the internet, and if you basically wanted to be in iTunes and you wanted to have your band up there for sale, we'd do it. And we've got some music industry people who are really psyched about this because they're out of contract, there has been stars, and they want a chance to get onto, the, onto iTunes and we give them all of their returns. So we actually managed to get MC Hammer, and he called us with a bug report. And I'm on the phone with Hammer, and he's filing a bug report about our sites. Yo, it's not working. No. And I almost lost it. I almost completely passed out. I just could not believe that I was having a bug fix report from MC Hammer. It's life is just too weird sometimes. Hey, man. Hey. I'm going to try my damnedest. <laughs> If that, <laughs> well, we are actually out of time. So give it, let's give everyone who came through a round of applause. Um, I, I don't know what's next, but I know Kage show us tonight. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> No, I'm still laughing about his disease. <laughs> Do you really have that? <laughs> All right, well, we are done here at this event. What? 8.30 here is on Kage. So come in here, get story. Um, look, wait, you have a Kage schedule. Tomorrow, wait, no, 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 put it back up. Tomorrow, what is, what is tomorrow? Saturday, all the days run together for me. Furry Improv, what time is it? I think it's at 10, from 10 to midnight. Uh, Saturday, I think it's around 10-ish. Two shows, I think is at, oh, well, thank you. Ha! <laughs> okay, the Furry Improv is from 10 to midnight. Oh, no, shh, don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> you know, if, 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 he, if he was standing right there and laughed until he fell, I think I could die happy. <laughs> I could say, God, with your, who said yes? Somebody said yes. <laughs> God, with your, with your mighty hand, strike me down. Right now. Through the dick. Damn. <laughs> All right, well, thank y'all. Have a good time.